Figma recently announced a bunch of exciting updates and one of the features that has been updated is auto layout. So in today's video, I'm going to go through all the new auto layout updates and I'm going to show you the best ways you can apply them to your design. So let's dive in. Here I have a blog postcard that has been designed using auto layout features. As you can see, it's responsive, but if I try to shrink it like this, as you can see, these tags are cut off and that's not ideal. That's because in the past, we didn't have the possibility of wrapping elements, wrapping auto layout objects into a new line. But that's not the case anymore because auto layout has now this feature. So let me show you how it works. Here I need to select this particular auto layout frame, this tag frame. And if you head over to the auto layout section, as you can see now, instead of having two different directions, vertical and horizontal, we have a new option called wrap. So if I set the parent element here, in this case, the tax frame to wrap, you may think that nothing happened. However, look what happens when I select this blog post card and I try to shrink it. Look what happens. There it is. As you can see now, these other layout objects are wrapping to a new line which is awesome, but that's not all. I'm gonna show you more use cases in a second. So now instead of shrinking this card, let me expand it. I'm gonna increase its width. And as you can see, this text grows, this text layer grows. That's because if I select it, you can see that its resizing option is set to fill container. So it takes up the whole available width of its parent element which is this heading and text. However, as you may know, it's not ideal to have long passages of text. So if you wanna have an optimal line length, you can now set minimum and maximum width and minimum and maximum height for your other layout objects. It's so cool. Let me show you how it's done. Here, let's suppose you wanna set a maximum width for this text layer. The only thing you need to do is select it. And if you head over to the design panel here, you can see this drop down menu. I'm going to open it up and it allows us to add a minimum width and a maximum width. So in this case, I'm going to set a maximum width for that. I'm going to click on it and here I'm going to specify the maximum width value. So in this case, let's set it to something like 500, just like this. And as you can see, now we have a maximum width of 500, which means that this takes layers width cannot grow more than 500 pixels. So now, no matter how big our card gets, this text layer cannot grow more than 500 pixels, just like this. But we didn't set a minimum width for that. You can go ahead and do that as well if you want, and I'm gonna show you how to do it in a second. So now I'm gonna copy this blog post card, and I'm gonna paste it in a frame just like this inside this desktop frame. Let me change the background color here for this desktop frame to something a little bit darker. And now I'm gonna duplicate this card twice. Let me duplicate it, move it to the right and duplicate it once again. And I'm gonna select these three cards and just add auto layout to them. So I'm gonna hit Shift and A and put them inside an auto layout frame. And as you can see, now we have all these cards inside this frame one. Let me rename it to cards which is the parent frame. All right, let me align it to the center. If you have used auto layout before, I'm sure you know that you can specify the spacing between your auto layout objects right here. So I'm gonna set it to 50 now, but you may also know that Figma could automatically decide this spacing for you. And in the past, if you wanted Figma to automatically adjust this gap for you, you needed to go to the advanced settings here. And here there was an option called spacing mode and there were two options packed and space between. We needed to set it to space between and then Figma would automatically adjust the spacing between these cards depending on the main frames width. But that's not the case anymore. You can now simply open up this drop down menu and here you can set it to auto and now Figma automatically adjusts the spacing between your auto layout objects. So if I just go ahead and resize this parent frame, this cards frame, look what happens. As you can see, the gap between them is automatically adjusted. It's not a new feature. However, the way you can apply it to your frames has been changed. All right, we basically covered all the new auto layout features. However, I'm gonna show you one more use case, which is quite helpful. So here we have this desktop frame. And when we design a project, we usually design the tablet breakpoint and the mobile breakpoint as well. And most of the time we change the layout of our page depending on the screen's width. So on tablet, we may need to change the layout of this page. So instead of having three cards in one row, we may have two rows of cards. And on mobile devices, 
we may only have one column. Well, in the past, it wasn't possible to make these kind of changes using Figma's native features. But now, thanks to the auto layout new features, it's possible. Let me show you how. So here, if I select this cards frame and I try to resize it, as you can see, the cards width is intact. That's because if I select the cards inside, you can see that they have a fixed width. So let's change that. I'm gonna select all these cards and I'm going to change their resizing option from fixed width to fill container. Now I'm going to select the cards frame and here I am going to change this horizontal gap between items from auto to something like 32. So now we can maintain a 32 pixel margin in between. And now if I go ahead and resize this parent frame, look what happens. As you can see, these cards shrink and grow depending on the parent's frame size. But how can we change the layout here? Let me show you how. If I select these cards and I set a minimum width for them, we can change the layout automatically. So while they are selected, I'm gonna head over to this drop down menu and I'm gonna add a minimum width. I'm gonna set it to 300. So these cards width cannot be smaller than 300 pixels. Now you may say that, all right, it should work, but it doesn't. If I select this cards frame and I try to resize it, the layout doesn't change. Look what happens. As you can see now, as soon as I reach that 300 pixel minimum width that I just set, these cards stop shrinking. However, what I wanna achieve is this. Since we don't have much space here, I wanna change the layout. I want Figma to wrap these cards to a new line. So how can we do that? Yes, you're right. We can use this new wrap feature. So while this cards frame is selected, I'm gonna set the auto layout direction to wrap just like this and look what we've got. Now Figma can automatically wrap these cards to a new line. Isn't it interesting? It's so powerful. So if I just go ahead and duplicate this card like this and I select the parents frame, and I try to resize it, I'll get two cards in the next row, which is awesome. But look what happens when I keep shrinking this parents element. Let me just expand my main frame like this. And if I just keep shrinking this cards frame, look what happens. There we go. Now we have only one column of cards, which is awesome. I'm pretty sure you were waiting for this new feature. And here it is. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more design tutorials. Have an awesome day and see you next time.